Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Bupesh. Hope you're doing perfectly well. So today we are going this. Uh, we are going to attend this, uh, you know, session on Grisana Faro, which is a very important. And I have received a lot of request on how to do real user monitoring using Grisana Faro, which is a web-based monitoring provided by Grisana. And this is possible with the help of Grisana Cloud as well as in you know open source Grisana. So we'll see one by one today. We'll see how to do real user monitoring using Grafana Faro on Grafana Cloud. And next session, we'll be doing it on the Grafana open source. So what are the important prerequisites uh, to do this session? We, do, we need to install a web-based application. Then we need to install or you know configure the Grafana Web SDK as a binary in our uh, application basically injecting those binaries or sdks into the application that will push all the web vitals and the uh, and the overall logging and tracing and then finally once the configuration of source code is done then we'll see all the web vitals onto the grafana cloud and what have what have we have done a quick recap in the same playlist we have done a lot of um, videos on grafana alloy how to do send matrices on ubuntu kubernetes logs on ubuntu and kubernetes and then again uh, you know, custom matrices and then uh, sending tracing on Ubuntu using Grafana Alloy and doing everything with Grafana Alloy matrix locks and traces on Ubuntu machine. Perfect. So last but not the least, do not forget to like and subscribe the channel so that you can get a lot of videos. So there's a popular GitHub page uh, that I've created for this entire video. You can simply follow the sticker GitHub page and do this testing at your end. Right. And then I have spent a uh, EC2 instance to make it happen uh, because our web based application uh, uh, needs to be installed on a, a small machine, or you can do it on your local Ubuntu machine box also. Perfect. So let's go through with the documentation and let's quickly do this use case so that uh, you can implement it uh, as per your applications. Right. So, first of all, you need to have a Grafana Cloud account. If you don't have it, you can simply create a Grafana Cloud account uh, using this, you know, URL. And then you need to install this web-based application onto your Ubuntu box. And what we are doing, we are using this uh, React-based, web-based application today so that you can, you know, instrument it and then send that uh, relevant uh, traces to the Grafana Cloud, okay? So this is my machine. And let me show you the github url for this now this is the github url so i'll simply do a git clone that is what i've given in my documentation i'm doing a git cloning of this report to my ec2 instance now git cloning is done now we'll Simply go inside that folder. Okay, what are the other steps that we need to do? Yeah, we'll do the update uh, and then we'll install npm. Now we need to install certain Grafana SDK param or binaries so that it can be uh, instrument so can we can instrument this web based application, send the uh, logging and tracing or web vitals. Now I'll install npm also if it is not there if it is already installed then i'll install these are the two important uh, web sdk that we need to install faro react and faro web sdk so i'm just installing these two things and then we'll get inside this folder and then we'll install and then we'll simply start this application so fun time we are you know initially we are just kicking off the application we are not inst instrumenting it and next iteration, we will show how to instrument a working application. Okay. Perfect. Now we'll, we'll go inside now demo cart. Right. And then we'll do npm install and npm start. Perfect. Now we are installing npm packages. Now this is a React based application. So npm install will, you know, ready, will, will you know, ready your application by installing the relevant dependencies. And then npm start will start that application. This is nothing but a similar to a Maven build or you know or or you know Cradle because it is 
building the binaries uh, that are required for this react with application okay so in the first step we are just installing the web based application we are not doing any instrumentation we will do this instrumentations uh, once our application is running and then we'll stop this application and then we'll do that instrumentation just to showcase okay this will take a while to install all the packages related to npm we'll go a little bit slow because this is a really important session now this npm in start will you know trigger your application right and this application will run on your port number 3000 let me get the uh, public ip for this ec2 instance this is my public ip let me see whether my application is my cpu is close to 100 percent that is the reason it is, it is taking some time to bring up this application this is my grafana cloud let me see whether this is Yeah, so this application is compiled successfully and I should see my web based application. You see, this is my application and I'm just doing a addition to cart and then this is my web based application it will generate a lot of traffic. Now we need to capture this traffic and then send this traffic to Grafana Cloud. Now that is the next step that we need to do. We need to configure this application so that we are able to get the web vitals to Grafana Cloud. Now we will stop this application. I'll do a control C. Fine. Then we need to go to this SRC folder. Yeah. And then we'll go to this SRC folder. Is it SRC? CDSRC. Okay. Now this is a file called as index.js. We need to modify this file. VI index.js. Now, what content we need to add in this file? So, content uh, we need to just go to our Grafana Cloud and get the content from there. So, I will create a first of all this is my Grafana Cloud instance. I'll come here, I'll click on this front end, I will create a new, I will give the application name. Suppose I give a front end as a name. Okay, front end is the name, and then I'll give the domain. Domain is nothing, the IP from where. The application will send the data and what is the IP? This is the IP. The application is running on port number 3000. Correct. So this is the IP IP of my EC2 where the application is running. It is running on port number 3000. Next, now this is the code that I need to copy. And then simply paste this code into my application index.js right so potentially that is what i am trying to say uh, please uh, so currently we will not send any kind of traces we'll just implement the web sdk so i am saying please initialize my initialize faro okay initialize faro from this uh, binary and then this is the url where you need to send this uh, so this is the grafana cloud url okay so i'll copy this guy and I'll paste it here. Correct. Now I'm just adding this snippet to my application source code. So I'll come here, insert. Okay. I'll explain this snippet of code one second. So what I'm saying, please initialize Grafana Faro and from Grafana Vero Faro Web SDK and this is my so I'm saying I'm saying please initialize uh, Faro and send all this data to this URL and this URL will capture the the all the instrumentation the basic level instrumentation I'm not doing anything super fancy 
So I'll just you know, save this file. Okay. Now I'll restart my application. I'll go to this CD demo cart. I'm already there. I'll just come out of it. And then I'll do npm start. Now this will again start the application, but this time it will capture the basic level of your uh, web vitals and send it, send it to Grafana Cloud. Okay. Now, since I've already copied these things, I'll do a continue. I'll do a complete. Now I'll see. This is the now. Now you don't have any kind of data, but let it let this uh, application should run properly. Now I think application is running. I'll just do a refresh. Yeah, now application has been refreshed again. The same application has been compiled and executed. But in this case, what we have done, we have added the Grafana Cloud snippet and the and initialize the Faro. Okay. And initialize the Faro. Okay. Now let's see let's click some let's do some more clicks on this and then go to cart i'll delete something i'll click this i'll okay then i think it should send some traffic now i'll go to my grafana front and i'll do a refresh okay so you can see i'm getting some traffic also now so let me go to not traffic is being there so you can see the time to first byte, first contextual paint, largest contextual paint, CLS. These are all important web vitals that are used in industry for doing your uh, real user monitoring. Okay. So let me see what all different different sessions. So okay, so I'm accessing this application from my Chrome. So this is the session ID of the Chrome. Okay, and I can get the other details. So, so I think that I think there are no traces. That is the reason that there are no traces that are coming, but all the logs are coming properly in Grafana Locky. Okay, see these are all uh, logs coming from that uh, front end, uh, you know, instrumentation that we have done. So now I want to show one more thing before we enable traces. Also, let's see whether we are having traces also or not. And I'll go to Explore. Grafana tempo and I'll just do last 30 minutes. Do we have any traces? I doubt. So there are no traces for now. So what I'm trying to show here is I have done only basic level of Grafana Faro instrumentation where our logs are coming. There are no traces that are you know coming now. Okay. So I'll go back to that same application now. My application is there and I'm getting some traffic. Now let me access this application from a mobile also. Okay. So mobile, I'm accessing this application from my mobile. Now what is the IP? This is a public IP basically 18.205.106.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0
let's do the session uh, the tracing level implementation also now what i'll do i'll stop this application again okay i stopped this application i'll go back to my documentation and then i'll include the tracing also okay so i'll go to cd src okay and then same index okay and then Mm. I'll copy these two lines. So what I'm doing, I'm just installing, uh, instrumenting now tracing also. So you can see this instrumentation arrow, and then it will take do the tracing instrumentation, which which is sorry, which is coming from a. Uh, a faro web tracing earlier we were doing only the logging enablement now we are doing both the web sdk okay now i need to copy paste this guy but before copy pasting let me change the url but now i'll just delete the previous stuff I'll copy this. I'll paste this. Okay. Now in this section, we are enabling logs as well as tracing as well as web vitals everything. Okay. And I'll, I'll save this file. Now before starting this application, we need to make sure that we are installing web tracing also, if it is not there. So now I am installing the web SDK for tracing, which is provided by Grafana. So potentially, first of all, we are installing the binaries and then we are injecting those binaries in my application source code, which will send the data to the Grafana Cloud Faro URL. Okay. Fine, this has been installed. Now I'll restart my application. I'm already in demo cart folder. I will just put do a npm start. Okay. Now this will start my application. Again. Let me do a close this guy. Well, it is running. It will take time this time for bringing up this application. Since this is a quite heavy application, a web based application, React, so that is the reason taking time. But normally, this is the process. Now, this application is up, and this should also be up now. Yeah, application is up, and now I suspect that it should, you know, trigger your traces also, right? We'll try to generate the full traces. Okay. Will your cart is empty? We'll click everything. We'll click some other cart al application also. No, the cart product, sorry. And then I'll come again here. And I'll come here. I'll just do a refresh. Now I will see there's another page has been loaded. Okay. Now I'll see the sessions. Now I see there's another session called as this. Now you see traces. This is the thing that I was trying to show. Now you have enabled traces also on your application. Correct? Now you're adding it, you're getting traces also in your tempo. So that which the, 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 the this thing was missing earlier, right? Now your uh, application gave more stats. Now we have enabled not only logs, but we have traces also, and it is uh, given the overall your uh, time to first byte, first contextual paint, largest contextual paint. FIDs and INP. Now you can have a detail level dashboard or you can have 
so these are there's a popular grafana dashboard also which is provided by uh you know the grafana faro which is you can quickly find it out uh grafana faro dashboard so you can get the grafana dash faro dashboard also from here front end observability the same dashboard you can and then you can see all the remaining other important KPIs or you can configure your own dashboards. That is pretty simple. But this is how you do real user monitoring of any of your web based applications. So today we have shown it on Grafana Cloud, but next time we'll show it on open source Grafana. It is pretty much straightforward. We are doing a basic level, you know, instrumentation where we are sending blocks and traces for any any entire span for that matter. Okay. Or any uh, session for 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 sake now let me see whether we are getting traces also or not separately onto a tempo uh database so search i'll do a while search now see now i'm getting all the traces because traces we have enabled just now earlier we have enabled only logs so logs are coming and all the web vitals are coming but now we have enabled traces now traces are also coming so this is the beauty of your real user monitoring and what we have used we have used three, you know, only two packages. One is for Faro web based tracing, NPM package, and the other is earlier was the web SDK. So potentially we have installed only two packages. Those two packages were injected into the application source code, and then the application source code, when the moment it was started, it was sending all the data to Grafana Cloud. So that is pretty much we did things pretty slowly today, and we are verifying well the web vitals on Grafana Cloud. I want to take a pause because this was a very important session, a very nice you know desktop so i want to take a pause so what we have done we've installed web-based applications we've installed faro web sdks we have injected those as sdks into the application source code and that application source code is sending important web vitals to grafana cloud if you have any doubts queries questions please put down into the comment section because this is the future this is the future of grafana faro and it can do all any level of real user monitoring and for more details, how to do the next level of instrumentation, this is again, you can simply say, you know, Grafana Faro on Google. And then you go to this first URL of official Grafana. And then you go to their GitHub URL. I'm just giving you more information. Suppose you're more interested in hard work, then you can do more instrumentation. Click on this URL. Okay. And then you see how they have defined you can do instrumentation. So again, you need to install these two things the way I have explained, and then you do basic level instrumentation, and you and then you can do advanced level instrumentation also, and then you can generate errors also. See, you can generate any new variable also. See, you can generate tracer span. So this is a hell lot of things that you can do it at, from your side. But yeah, give it a shot and try with any web based application. You can take any of your application and then see whether your uh, Grafana Faro is working or not. Last but not the least, do not forget to like and subscribe the channel because we have a lot of videos pertaining to Grafana Alloy, Grafana, Elasticsearch, Kubernetes, AWS and, and so on. If you, if you need any more special session, please put down into the comment section. I'll try to see if I can do it over the weekends. Yeah, it was nice connecting you again after I think close to 40-50 days. But yeah, I'll try to keep it a regular if I get time over the weekends. So till then next uh, till then uh, goodbye please do take care of yourself bye bye